Welcome to the backstage pass and a man who's got a lot to think about this weekend, Philippe Shep of France. And I'll tell you something, this CTIC China team has really turned things around. And for you, you got a new boat. you got to be excited. It looks good, and you look like you feel good about it, too. Yes, I I, uh, I think I, I use uh, my new boat for the race to Abu Dhabi. Uh, I hope it's uh, better to all boat, but uh, I don't know, never test, and uh, I'm... Uh, I hope the best. And for you, it'd be nice to get you back on the podium again. You're starting to feel more comfortable with podium finishes. Yes, uh, for, for, for sure. I like uh, Abu Dhabi. It's a nice race. And uh, with uh, every, every time, it's a good race for me. But with a new boat, I don't know. Of course, uh, the podium is the minimum. It would be nice with two back-to-back -back races to really make a strong statement to end the year with good finishes. Uh, sorry, I don't understand. Okay. And for you, of course, it would be nice to end the season with uh, two nice results. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, we have not luck in uh, Russian, and uh, Liu Zhu, it's a result uh, normal uh, for, the, for the team. Sure. And uh, I think uh, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah, good result. It's hard to believe when you look at a face like this that this man, Philippe Shep, is defending bowling champion. And guess what? We're having the results coming out. We're going to have our own bowling tournament the day after the race here in Abu Dhabi. 60 people strong. Can this man from France win it a second time? What do you think? Yes, but uh, I prefer win the race. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if Philippe Shep can do a double this weekend. Win for the first time and win the bowling tournament for the second time in his career.